thank you all very much for taking the time out. Thank you, Mayor Sam, for taking the time out to, to meet with us and discuss some of the things that are going on around the, the Village of Reminderville these days. Um, we hope to continue to have these from time to time to post on the website so that the constituents and the community members can, can get some insight from Mayor Sam on, on what's been going on. So it's a, a topic that's been on the top of a lot of people's minds these days, um, so I want to get to it right off the bat. We have a nice, beautiful rendering here of the hopefully soon-to-be Remindable Rec Center. So I guess, Sam, um, if you don't mind, maybe just kind of where, where have we been with the rec center, where are we at now, and, and what can the community kind of look to here in the near future? Okay. All right, so this is the rendition that, uh, this is actually the latest rendition. It's only about a day or two old. Uh, the only thing that, you know, we're still looking at maybe getting rid of the cupola at the end here. Um, and, you know, the, the color changes, if we decide we don't like the color pattern of the bricks and whatnot, we, we could look at, you know, changing that too. But uh, actually, I, I, I think it looks really nice. Color scheme and stuff. Sure. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, so it's been in the process for I don't know, two, three years, I think. Um, actually, since it's been sitting empty down there at the Plaza, trying to figure out what uh, what we could do there to kind of generate uh, a positive effect here on Reminderville and a positive effect on the, on that corner up there and, and help sell the outlots too that that go along with it. Um, so this is this is what we've we've come up with. Um, we're now uh, in our in our about ready to hit the goal line where we have the opportunity to uh, see something happen here in the next thirty to forty five days as far as demolition goes. The demolition will start. This is the breezeway right now okay. that you see. A uh, future Mexican restaurant, and out here would be drug mart. Um, so everything from here down will be tore down, and uh, going to try to save this in because it would. Will lower the price on building the rec center. Um, it's taken us a, a while to uh, uh, get the builder in place uh, because of the price that, that most of them are wanting to charge. So we, I think we've, I hope from talking to everybody, it seems like we've got the right builder this time. And, uh, and uh, we've switched our uh, financing over to uh, the DFA who will actually purchase this. And the DFA, what was that? Exactly? Um, that's the part, it's a finance group out of. Um, Used to be the old Port Authority oh, okay. out of Summit County. Gotcha. So um, they're going to take over uh, the financing. So because they're the same ones that did Kent State, uh, Twinsburg, the branches, oh, okay. Kent State. So they take it over. They they help run the process of it, and then they own it, and then we lease it off of them. And then after uh, I think it's thirty years, we buy it off of them for a dollar. Okay. Um, but to so say this is uh, two basketball courts, three volleyball courts, walking track down this end. Swimming pool is back behind, here's your front entrance and the swimming pool goes back behind there. And the pool is set up for our young citizens of Reminderville to enjoy. Great. Um, we'll have a separate like um, lap lanes and so we can still do our senior water aerobics and, and people that want to swim laps, they can still have that availability. But most of it's going to be geared towards family and, and the, the younger children of the village here. Great. This will be the... Um, Cardio in the, in the weight section down here. This will be open 24 hours like it was at SNAP. And there will be a divider here that keeps people from coming this way. Terrific. Um, Great. So what you would mentioned something about kind of seeing some things. What, what do you see as we move forward in the, in the process? Um, you mentioned maybe demolition. Um, yeah, the demo should start, I, I would think, within 30 to 45 days. They should so people start seeing things so, soon. Right. Pretty soon. right. Um, I mean... To be honest, you know, the section down there is coming, to me it's an eyesore to look down there and see the awnings and things like that. I just need to get something that um, that just looks nicer for Reminderville that we deserve. If you look at what we've done over the past years and infrastructure improvements and things like that, we, we're working on making this a village that everybody should be proud of. Um, for sure. So it, with that done, the outlots, there's already um, a buzz with the outlots. I don't know if you see the sign up there where he's... There's never been a sign. Yeah, so you, just recently. yeah, you're starting to uh, get a lot of inquiries because this here is going to drive that, which helps us drive revenue back to the village too. Sure, no, that's great. So, um, anything else, I guess, in general in the the rec center or? No, I just want everybody to join, and we get it up and going. Yeah. Right. Sounds like a plan. So, so as you see right behind it, we have um, the senior citizen, the 
shouldn't say that because I fall in the group 55 <laughs> and over. Um, apartment complex. Uh, there's 97 units that will be there. There will be one or two bedroom units. Okay. Uh, they've already started the uh, ground breaking and then earth moving. Uh, I do not know the timeline on how long before that uh, gets completed. But, okay. but that's also well, that's something that's going to help us too here with silver sneakers and whatnot. But it's something maybe the next time we'll have a lot more information on, sure. on the senior center. What else is, um, any idea when the Mexican restaurant's going to, I see the signs up. Yeah, I talked to them uh, last week and they said probably a month or what, like three weeks out. Okay. Right. They're still getting some final approvals on their kitchen. They redid their kitchen and uh, they've redone the floors in there. Uh, added some, just a different look to it. It looks more like a Mexican restaurant. Sure, sure. And they're, and they're going to do a lot with the breezeway. They're going to take the... Uh, the cobalt is over there, take that off, and uh, that'll be like an open patio for them. So, so Great. They, they a lot of cool things coming for them. Great. Anything else happening in the plaza? Is it Conrad's? Aren't, aren't they going to be doing Conrad's something? Conrad's is, they are adding a two bay laser wash, okay. uh, which would be on the south side of Conrad's. Um, and they haven't broke ground on it yet, but it should be. I know they've got all their permitting done, so they should be. Uh, Moving forward on that too. Gotcha. So it's safe to say there's a lot going to be happening up at the yeah. plaza here in the near future. Hopefully, uh, all good things. Sounds like it. Uh, and uh, Ryan Holmes, uh, they've came to us. They want to build another 105 units uh, over by the new nature center. Um, they just purchased the land, and uh, so it's another area. You know, you'll be looking at more units coming into the village. That's great. Um, with that, they're willing to look at uh, helping us uh, build some walking trails um, that will connect the village into the nature center, Super. which I think will be a plus for all of us. Right. So speaking of that sort of thing, and, and any of the construction, you know, obviously these are all exciting, we're going to be able to see it. Um, how about some of the road construction or, you know, walking paths? I know isn't there a, it's a really neat uh, path that's going to be connecting the Solon to the... To the uh, Liberty Legend. Yeah, they're going right? to finish. I would hope it's done by the end of the year here, or end of the summer at least. You're going to see the bike path that goes right Solon into the uh, main park there on Liberty Road and through Reminderville. That's why uh, we, we left a lot of open space to that area to connect them all. That's great. So they're moving forward on that. You can actually see if you drive through, you'll see stakes mm -hmm. set up like the area that's going to be in. Right. One little section there, they're going to put a little bridge, and I think right now that's the uh, hold up on it or else we would already be beyond that part. Okay. How about what road construction going on this summer? Um, um, right now the you know the biggest thing we got is water line um, and that's when Windjammer, Windjammer Cove um, and they're on um, not, no, not where are we at now? Regatta. We're on Regatta gotcha. right now. Um, and actually it looks like they're Making pretty good time every time I go through there. So, well, that's good. Um, then hopefully we get uh, wind jammer uh, dedicated. That would help, um, so that uh, pretty much all the streets in the village would be taken care of by us, and we can make sure they're kept to high standards. Like that. That's great. So, is there any other? Um, I was trying to think. Is there any other? Can... Not right now. I think that's up to council to decide where they want to go next. Uh, what streets? I mean. Historical end of the village has been pretty much taken care of, other than California. And we're hoping, you know, that we get money for California and, and Aurora helps share that with sure. us. Sure. Uh, we can probably take care of some flooding issues with that too. So that would be great. Um, anything else kind of pertinent going on that? Because again, this is since we're in kind of mid-April. Anything going on in the next couple months that that the residents might be interested in? I mean, obviously, we've hit on a lot of the construction at the plaza and, and uh, some yeah. other. And just, you know, maintaining our infrastructure. I don't know if you, if, you know, I tell residents to take a look around. If you drive to Solon, Twinsburg, Aurora, and these sections, uh, you'll find that Reminderville's infrastructure now is probably one of the better ones that you'll, you'll, you'll see. Um, you drive the roads enough, it's been a rough winter on. You know, you can see sure. most of our stuff's done in concrete. It's going to last a lot longer. And yeah, that's um, really helped. It's, bit. it's going to help a lot, and it's going to keep it's going to keep uh, the residents from having to, you know, pay for things. Sure. sure. And that, that was the whole goal: was just uh, let's build it, build it right, and make sure that it lasts for a long time. 
and it's actually uh, it, it's one of the selling points in, uh, that you mentioned that we're going to go into Chicago here to present to Standard and Poor's about our bond rating and things like that. And it's one of the things they looked at and that they couldn't believe how much we've done infrastructure wise and, and that we're doing it all in concrete and how much longer that's going to drag it out before we need to do anything. So, Which is great. Yeah. Um, so I guess lastly, let's talk hopefully a little more exciting things. What, what do you have? Any uh, good events coming up here? You're going to uh, have your, yeah, your fam family fun day I think comes in June. Okay. Uh, we do the touch of truck and the, which kids always love. Yeah, and 4th of July we always do the parade and we need to do some kind of program with the Lower Shores Homeowner Association and try to make it a, a fun-filled day for all the families and uh, somewhere along the line we'll probably squeeze a couple other little items in. Sure. So, but if there's anybody who wants to come or has ideas for it, give us a call or wants to help. We always need help. That's so. true. We could always use some some volunteers. Absolutely. So, um, well, thank you very much, Mayor Sam. We appreciate all, right. all your time. And uh, just so everyone knows, they can get this on the website. They'll be able to view it on the website. We'll also, um, please, if you get a chance, it's reminderville.com. You get all the pertinent information that you'll need for things coming up. And uh, please, if you get a chance, download our village app as well and try to keep in constant communication. So, again, thank you, Mayor. And uh, we'll check in with uh, you all soon. All right. Take care. All right.